Hey guys, it's Di, and I am back in the world of making videos. I have my voice back, and so I'm going to get back to my previously scheduled list of videos and requests to get to. But I did want to do one video this week to answer your questions and answer some of the questions I have been asked the most over the past month or so. And the main topic is actually, I mentioned in a couple of my videos, and then this question has been like wildfire. I've been getting all kinds of comments down below, people sending me emails and um, inboxing me at YouTube. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a video on it so that way I can answer everyone's questions hopefully at one time. And the main topic has been where do you get pre-owned authentic designer items? Because I did mention that I found a few pre-owned items that I was really loving. And then also I was just going to give some general tips and general my personal opinion on uh, buying pre-loved and pre-owned items. So first of all, let me say just to answer everyone's questions directly, because a lot of people have just been asking specifically, where did you get these items? Um, primarily, I prefer buying from private sellers. So they're in private groups, which unfortunately are not accessible by the general public so it's not something I can give out information on um, but I prefer buying from private sellers and there's a specific authentication process inside those groups and it's what I feel most comfortable doing however I do have a few online consignment stores that I'm comfortable recommending to you guys and they are stores that I feel that are reputable enough for me to recommend them to you guys and also these four places are places that I have either purchased from in the past when I was buying Balenciaga bags mostly and or um, I've either met their owners in person. I've actually met one of the owners of one of the places at a meetup in Michigan. So the places that I wanted to tell you guys about that I feel are reputable and have authentic designer goods. So they sell brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Coach, Marc Jacobs, that sort of thing are Anne's Fabulous Finds. She's located out of Troy, Michigan, and she has a really great website that's very easily searchable. Um, they have a process for authenticating all of their goods, and um, also Anne and Troy are extremely nice people, so if you have any questions, you can always send them an email. Um, the next place is Yoji's Closet, and that's just yogiscloset.com. They also have a great website that's really well laid out to kind of browse and search around. They have very detailed descriptions, and and both of those places also have nice rating systems so you can really get a feel for how used the item you're looking at really is and I feel like they both have very uh, reputable descriptions they're not going to over describe anything and say it's better than it is and that sort of thing um, the next place is HG bags online she has a large selection of brand new Balenciaga bags that are all authentic. She sells authentic bags of Balenciaga and other brands. And there's also some kind of smaller designer brands like, um, I believe it's Marco Tegliferia. I don't know, I'm probably not saying that name right, but she has a lot of other brands as well that are nice to look through. And also a pre-owned selection, a smaller selection of pre-owned bags as well. And I used to get a few of my Balenciaga bags from her. Erica is great to work with. I would highly recommend her. And um, also a great authentication process there as well. The last place I was going to mention is Real Deal Collection. Again, this is another online consignment store that started out primarily just for Balenciaga bags, but I believe that they're kind of dipping their toes into other brands now as well. Um, I really haven't uh, done anything with them for a few years since I've kind of been out of Balenciaga, but they have a great Balenciaga selection, and it's just another um, avenue to look for um, that has a great authentication process. So those are the four places that I have been recommending to people down in comments and in messages and I just wanted to go ahead and say that I um, believe all those places to be reputable and think that um you know, they are places that I, I think you can put some confidence in. They're trying to do the best authentication process as possible. And so then on to the next part of this kind of buy and pre-own things. I generally don't prefer eBay. Um, you know, I haven't really done anything on eBay for a really long time. I used to sell dancewear on there, and now I pretty much just buy, um, I buy Gymboree clothing for my girls a lot. So I pick and choose, you know, if I'm searching for a piece and I can't find it anywhere else, that's pretty much the only thing I I turned eBay for anymore. Um, if you're comfortable with that, the only thing I would suggest is making sure you have any bag that you're looking at on there uh, authenticated because obviously um, replicas is a huge, huge problem and um, I'll just kind of leave it at that. So know your authentication processes and take the extra steps to have additional authentication information um, provided to you or just another opinion provided to you. And I'll tell you some sources here in a minute that you can look for for that. 
And then the other place I wanted to mention is Bonanza. It is a smaller kind of auction um, type consignment type um, place where private sellers can go and post pictures of the items and operates like eBay except a lot of the things on there are all buy it now. So you can look through there for handbags. There's a really strong handbag community on there and I know Bonanza also strives to have a um, really authentic only presence online and um, you know, it's just some place that's an extra place that you can kind of look at. If I end up selling anything outside of my private groups that I'm the most comfortable in, Bonanza is really the first place that I turn to, and generally I just kind of leave it at that. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions as far as my opinions on places that are good to buy pre-owned and um, just giving you some kind of ideas and things like that. And then also I just wanted to say... Obviously, if you're putting, you're paying a lot of money for these things, you definitely want to make sure that you are buying authentic items, not only for the fact that you're laying out a lot of money for them, but just for the whole kind of morality thing. Um, um, there's a lot of kind of shady things that go on in the world of counterfeiting. I'll kind of leave it at that because I don't want to get into that whole issue. But um, I will say that there are a number of places out there that you can either pay for authentication opinions or you can go and get a free opinion. And um, there are a number of forums out there. If you just search uh, handbag forum, purse forum, um, bag authentication, handbag authentication, um, you know, authenticating handbags, and put the word forum in there. There are a number of great forums out there. Members can give you their opinions and ideas on the authentication um, of different pieces that you're looking at. So that is definitely something I would suggest. And then also there are places you can pay to get an authentication opinion. And you can also search those out by professional authentication services, um, designer handbags, and that sort of thing. Highly recommend to get an additional opinion on authenticating, especially if you don't know anything about the authentication, um, different things to look for on the bags. You really need to make sure that you have someone that knows what to look for. Look at the pictures of the item before you commit to buying. So, that is kind of my answer for that in a nutshell. Hopefully it has been helpful. I've been trying to answer people's questions on it as well as I could. Um, and obviously it's been a very, very popular question ever since I mentioned that I had gotten a few things pre-owned. Um, so I do prefer, you know, private groups that I feel like there's a little bit more rigorous um, entrance process to the members that are inside the groups and a lot of uh, individual authentication that is going on on each individual item that's posted. Um, but there are a number of places that are, you know, I'm comfortable recommending like the Yoji's Closets and Fabulous Finds, all those places that are great to look through just to browse, honestly, but then also if you're looking for a specific item or a specific brand to buy, they are great resources out there. So that is pretty much my answer in a nutshell to buying pre-owned, and hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. I know it's been a huge, huge topic of discussion for about the past month or so. The only other thing I was going to mention, and just kind of toss this out there, I have got a few questions, a few emails. People want to know what my name means. <laughs> They want to know what does Bags for Bubbles mean? Short and simple story is, is I wanted to come up with a name for online forums back in 2006 when I was first just found out about forums and, and I wanted something to do with bags or purses or something like that and when I was sitting there one night I was just kind of thinking of names and my husband called me Bubbles at the time because I have a bubbly personality so somehow it just ended up coming up with bags for bubbles. So the four is number just to be cutesy, um, but when you say it out loud, it literally means, you know, like bags for me type of thing. So hopefully that answers that question because that's something that people have been asking as well. So let me know if you have any additional questions. Um, you know, when I get them a lot of different places, I'm trying to respond as quickly as possible. But if you want to put anything to do with pre-owned questions here on this video, that will kind of help me keep track of them. And hopefully that has been helpful. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.